Got my man Big Mo looking What's going fresh. On? What's going on? Matt Gifted Hands hooked it up. Hey, got turn it. around, get a little 360, you know, taper fade with a three on, on top. The got the beard, beard work looking nice. So, What's from up? my understanding, man, you have a YouTube channel, right? I got a YouTube channel. I started it around uh, maybe like three months ago. Okay. So it's called Official Big Mo. And I'm on Instagram, Official Big Mo, and YouTube. And my wife kind of helped me, you know, build it up. So Give it's her good. Shout out as well her, too, her, her name is Omaya Zane. If you go on my stuff, you'll see her too. So you know why he goes. Here. You know why he yeah. goes by Big Mo? Because look, I'm like two feet <laughs> to this dude, man. How tall are you? I'm like five foot nine on a five, good day. No, I'm, I'm six six, so it's on, it's, on a good it's day. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Almost at the door. The door is like six eight. <laughs> yeah, the, I've known him for about I would say yeah, no, four years. Yeah. Did a haircut tutorial. I hope y'all enjoy it. Subscribe to his channel. You already know. Subscribe to mine as well. Definitely. Make sure to get those thumbs up, like, comment, I mean, share, subscribe, stuff, all yep. that good stuff. It helps the channel grow, y'all. And if you in the area, definitely come visit him. Even if you're not at the area, make a make a trip to come see him. It's definitely worth it. Awesome. Hey, we out of here, man. Y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace. All right, let's jump right into this haircut tutorial. Right here, I have my Andes GTX T outliners. And yes, they're modified. And man, these things are hitting ever since I used the Chuka the Barber one minute blade sharpener. Then I finished it with the Andes Profile Shaver to get that nice, clean skin taper on the back of the neck. And then right here, I start with the lever open for my next guideline and then I work my way down and as I do that I close the lever to the close position now I have the number one guard on lever all the way open my next guideline and then I work my way down while closing the lever I have three different times that I move the lever open middle and close now I have the number two guard on because we did a number three all the way around his head. Two guard all the way open. And then as I work my way down, I close the lever. So open, middle, close. Now this is the one and a half guard. Not the one guard, the one and a half guard. I'm using my wall premium guard as well and I'm using my wall magic cordless clipper they are not zero gap they are adjusted to my liking but they are not zero gap and you can tell the blends already starting to come together and then I go back with my one guard clean things up a little bit right before I take my half guard and bring the blend together Alright, here it is, the half guard or 1 16th or 0 guard, depending on what system you use. Again, starting with my lever open, I'm removing that one guideline. And as I move down into the, the, the zero, I close the lever in the middle and then close it all the way to blend it. So the reason why I always start with the lever open is because you can always take hair off, you can't put it back on. So starting with the lever open is basically like your safety point. Um, if you start with it closed, you may create yourself a guideline that you can't get out. All right, so now we're gonna start on the side, the side taper, temple taper, whatever you wanna call it. There's so many names for this haircut. Um, I started with the lever all the way closed, put it in the middle and then opened it up. And then now this is a one guard, starting with the lever open, middle and closed. Now I'm going to take my two guard again because there's a number three all the way around and I'm just getting rid of some of that bulk. Again, starting with the lever open, putting it in the middle and then closing it. This is kind of like a mid taper, not, not too high. This is the number one and a half guard. Again, lever open, put it in the middle and then close it. Now I'm going to finish it up using my half guard, lever open, middle and then close it there's just three different times that i'm that i moved the knot and yes there are going to be some in-betweens um that's just to me that i call that lever play um you can move the lever up and down as much you know as much as needed right kind of just playing around with the blend and getting getting rid of some dark spots so now we're going to blend in the beard i took a number two guard on the beard as well 
Um, he wanted it to be pretty low. And make sure you subscribe to my boy, man, Official Big Mo. He started three months ago. I, I remember when I started, you know, I, you know, where I'm at now, I'm, I'm definitely not satisfied, but I'm just saying, like, you know, about a year ago, I didn't have no subscribers, and with all the support from, from each and every one of y'all, man, thank you so much, but go show some love to my boy, Big Mo, you know, he has a dope, he has a dope channel, man, and his wife um, is actually pretty known in the YouTube industry as well. She has about 187,000 subscribers. I believe she does like makeup tutorials and different kind of couple, couple things that they that they do together, like vlogging and stuff. All right, so what you do to one side, you do to the other. Sorry, got off track. Um, just doing the same steps as we did to the other side. Just putting that number two guard on there, getting knocking down the beard. And then I'm going to come back with my one guard lever closed, going with the grain on the mustache. Just because, look how big that two guard is. There's no way that I can trim his mustache without the, the, the teeth to the uh, guard going up his nose so and he definitely don't want that so I tend to always get a smaller guard but you know like a one but go with the grain go downwards and it trims it to you know just about the same amount uh, of the two guard right here going with the grain it's more comfortable on the client as well have them stretch down like that. All right, so now we're gonna start lining up the back of the neck. Notice when you start putting that neckline to work, man, everything just starts popping. Like the lineup just brings everything out. And man, these, these outliners are hitting like crazy. I'm not even putting a lot of pressure. I'm not gonna do too much of the beard with the trimmers. I'm gonna just do all razor. We're lining up the front. And he doesn't have, you know, it's not gonna be like that crispy straight edge. Not everyone has a, a perfect edge, so. And not every client wants an edge up either, so. A client consultation. Yeah, I'm not even leaving his neck red or nothing. And they're set pretty close. They're not zero gap, they're just adjusted. Like, if I zero gap them, and I'm a heavy handed barber, I would, man, I'll tear them up. <laughs> There's no way that I can have a zero gap trimmer because I, I have a heavy hand. And it's not a bad thing, it's just you gotta adjust your trimmers and clippers um, to where you can cut with them and not mess anybody up. All right, so now I'm gonna apply that at 245 shave gel, y'all. All the way around the, 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 the beard line, the edge up, the mustache. Just rub it all in. Now we're gonna do some razor work, making sure that I stretch the skin with the opposite hand. Going against the grain, across the grain. And wipe away all the like the excess gel or hair out of the way that way you can see that that line is actually there and I did a zero right there at the taper and you can see that that line came out crispy and I don't know man I think this cut came out dope what do y'all think a three all the way around a two on a beard and a taper fade Look at that. Look at them trimmers hitting, y'all. I'm not even applying no pressure right here. Those trimmers are hitting, y'all. No redness, no irritation. Look at that. That's without even a razor or the, uh, the foil shaver on the bottom. It already looks bald. Now we're gonna raise it the other side. I sped this side up just a tad bit. I'm 
keeping this beard like supernatural. I'm just enhancing it with the razor and making it crispy. After this, we're gonna hit it with the Andes Profile Shaver to get it nice and skin tight on the bottom. And then that's pretty much it, y'all. There's nothing really too much to uh, doing a taper. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, share, and comment. Subscribe to his channel. Let's help everyone's channel grow, y'all.